Hey guys and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Let's have a little check on our TV weather report. Uh, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Awesome man, a double rain day. Ah, oh, God, it's going to be beautiful. It's supposed to feel neutral today. Double rain. Double rain day. Uh, not a bit early to do anything. Let's uh start hoeing, I suppose. Oh, a bit of extra, a bit of extra ground. Let's make this as, this nice and square. Ah oh, man, they just love it when it rains. It's glorious. Another fucking book. I am rolling in these books, man. In a lost book, the library's collection has expanded. Nope, still jack shit. Nope. If it's going to rain, then we can. Uh, we can spend a day going down the mines. We can spend two days going down the mines. Glorious. All right. I don't know what time Pierre's opens at. Oh, it's someone's birthday tomorrow. Not like I care. Uh, I need a red mushroom if it's not too inconvenient. Pam, I don't think I can get you a red mushroom hen. 9 a.m. opens. All righty. Let's uh, head down to the beach and see if there's anything on the beach that we can pick up. I might head home and drop all my shit off so I can... Uh, so I can go to the... The thingy, properly. The... what do you call it? The fucking caves! The mines! Thank you. Uh, and I'll just... like I'll keep my sword on me, I'll keep my hoe, and I'll keep my... Axe. I'll keep my hoe because apparently there's stuff that you can hoe in the mine. Uh, not my axe, my pickaxe. Apparently there's stuff that you can hoe in the mine. Oh. Hey man, how's it going? Old Mariner, I've got an old amulet to sell but something tells me you're not ready for it lad. Yeah, I definitely think that he only appears when it's raining. Which is kind of interesting. Apparently there's certain, um... Some fish that only appear when it's raining as well. well let's head up. It looks like the, the shop's just about to open as well. It's 8.40. And just chill about outside until it gets to... Until it gets to 9 o'clock. Hey, it's a good day to shop. Definitely is, mate. Give me all your potatoes. 17 more potatoes. Beautiful. And uh, they'll get planted and they'll get watered straight away, which is going to be fantastic. Oh, that's right, we got the scarecrow as well, didn't we? Oh, I might see about building that today. Oh, and I'll pick up my sap and make some fertilizer so I can fertilize these 17 plots. I reckon I've got 17 sap, so, or at least 17 sap. Oh, actually, it needs to be more than 17, doesn't it? Mollocks. I wasn't looking for that. Oh, wow, okay. I've got plenty of sap. Uh, right, let's make... 17 fertilizer then. Right. What's that noise? Yeah, the fertilizer must be placed before planting. I, I do understand that one. Okay, now let's place our 17 potatoes. So the reason you place fertilizer is because you can get um, higher quality crops. So you can get silver and gold. Silver is a 10% bonus in the price and a gold is a 20% bonus in the price. Which is why you do it. Let's shove that in there. Um, I'll shove that in there. Shove the south. Keep the hole. Right. One, two, three. There we go. And let's go to the caves. I don't need the scythe because I've got the sword. The pickaxe for anything, the hoe to see if I need to, or if I want to hoe anything while I'm down there. I don't want to use too much energy though. Because the last thing I want to do is get knocked out in the, in the mine. Is it up here? That's where it is? I think it is. 
Yeah, this is a community center, so I actually want to go in here and get the get that quest done for investigating the community center. All right, let's head down here. It's like some fucking alien language. Beautiful. Uh, I do feel bad. I do feel bad for the fact that I won't be able to. Uh, To do anything, to do any of the community centre stuff. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Don't know what that noise was. No idea. Sound like a big fucking frog. Oh! Is that a leak? That is a leak. I know exactly the person who would like a leak as well. Because his wife told me. Is that my character's stomach or something? I don't know what that means. I don't fucking know what that is. What are you know? Yeah, let's go down and give this leak to the, the person who I know really wants leaks. The leak fan. I heard that he goes for leaks all the time. But umps. This is you! My old mucker. It's my favourite thing, thank you! Yeah, your wife told me, mate. Weekends do different now all the time for me. Yeah, I feel that. That's how it is when you retire. That's how it is when you're self-employed, son. When I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. I think the roof rack might be leaking. Oh, that sucks. In the old days, George would have scampled right up there and fixed it. Sigh. What are you doing, mate? Ah, oh, it's not good weather for sports. It is good weather for fixing your granny's fucking roof, though. Oh well, I can always lift weights and sit. I don't like that guy. Fix your grand's roof. Stop being a lazy bastard. One o'clock and I've not even started in the mines yet. Ugh. But George wanted his, uh, the wee old Jim wanted his, his leak. So, I gave him a leak. Right. It's currently raining. Ah, uh, ho-hum. I don't know, I don't know about you, but any time I see a graphical depiction of an umbrella, I think that the, uh, the handle should face the other way. I know it's probably a, it's a non-consequential thing, but that's what I feel. I feel like... Oh, nice, I got a geode out my first rock. Sweet. You found a geode, a local blacksmith can break them open for you. Who knows what's going to be hidden inside. Oh, that was quick. Alright, let's chop this fucker. Nothing. Hey, bit of copper ore. Our first foray into the mine so far has become 100% more lucrative. Oh no, we got a geode, so. Don't know what that might contain. Alright. One little um, piece of advice I've got is don't hit these grey rocks. You're much better hitting the other ones because the grey rocks take two wallops. Am I seriously just gonna have to chop down every fucking oh my god. Every one of these? What the actual fuck oh there it is there. Nice. Alright. Come here, slime. You look like a brother of the uh the old apple. some white algae. Nice. That's a piece of quartz, isn't it? The reason that that one's thingy in is because that is also a crab. Fuck, fuck you, man. Are you just not taking knockback damage or something? Oh my god, really? What the fuck is this bullshit? Okay. My god. Get my ass kicked by these fucking crab scum lords. Oh, I got a cherry bomb for that one though. No? 
Oh my god, just die in a fire. Jesus. Definitely worst enemy designed ever. Such an asshole. Oh, nice. Piece of amethyst. What's that? Piece of topaz? Uh, let's... Eat that. Nice bit of energy, bit of health. Sweet. I want to get down to at least level 5. I don't ever want to come into the, uh, come into the mines and not get... and get less than 5 levels down. Alright. Go and kill this wee scum lord as well. Oh wow, he's got wee red eyes. He got really annoyed at me there. How we do it? We're doing alright, man. The only annoying thing is if we get any quartz. Fucking hell, that was annoying. Um, yeah, if we get any more quartz, because we got a silver quartz, it won't stack, which is super annoying. Alright, let's chop him. Oh, beautiful. And we found a way down from him. But, first off, let's, uh, smash that. And jolly down the stairs. Da -da 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 -da. Journal updated. Nice. So that means that we unlock the, uh, the transport to this, uh, to this floor. Oh, some bug meat. I'm going to drop the wood and pick up the bug meat. I thought I'd already, I thought I already had some bug meat in my pocket. Apparently not. Very difficult to see down here. Incredibly difficult. Some more bug meat. And let's just head up and head home. No need to get to level 40 in a mine. That's a distance. Alright. Also, I am very well aware, and I'm going to do it now, that I should put a cherry bomb there. Ow! But don't stand in the way of it. Now look! Putini! Good job, mate. Alright, now let's get... Let's get heading home. It's 8.50, so we don't want to stay out too late. But, uh, we do have some stuff, like the, the amethyst and the topaz that we can take to a little buddy over in the shop. Alright, let's check out for any wiggly worms. Oh. A wild horseradish. Hey, Wiggly Worm. Hey, it's another book. We are actually destroying these books, man. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> it didn't give me the full pop-up for the book either, because it was in my options menu. Strange that you need a... Um, you need a slot in your inventory. For a book that you don't pick up. Very peculiar. Uh, let's shove that in there, that in there, that in there. Uh, those can stay on me just now, and I'll shove the bug meat and the slime in there. I don't know if there's anything I can do with them. I'll shove the horseradishes in there, and these three things have got to go to what's his face. And I'll pick up the fiber. My ho my dog, my horse, my dog doesn't get um. Any water in his bowl when it's raining? Nonsense. Put them in there. Okay. Alright, let's get to bed. Sleep for the night? Yes. Now we got 100 gold. That's not too bad. From two horseradishes. Seventh of spring, year one. I was going to say it doesn't sound like it's raining, but it is. 
Weather report. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Yeah, shame. Fortune teller. Express in good humour. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Nice. The Queen of Sauce. I'm the Queen of Sauce here to teach you a thing. Stir fry is a perfect way to get some healthy greens in your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure you should add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. Go on, take a cook stir fry. Uh, I had stir fry the other night. Stir fry is probably one of my, uh, hello, how's it going, mate? One of my favourite meals. Oh, hi there, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of your ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so it happens, I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, won't you have them? Oh, that's nice. You'll learn how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. I need to come see you later on today. When you smelt a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Oh, okay. I'm heading home. Take it easy. Well, that's pretty nice, eh? Uh, I do need a scarecrow. Uh, my sister's telling me you've been poking around inside the old community centre. Why don't you come pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. Emrasmodius. I've seen you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventure spirit. Much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventures guild. Be, caref be careful. Be careful, Marlon. Oh, my, uh, my tulip's been made. Oh, that requires a scythe. Okay, I'll go and pick up my scythe. Uh, I don't want to chop any trees or anything. Let's just scythe this down. Hey, and that's the kale. Anything else cooked? No, not yet. Uh, let's dump the kale in and the potato. We'll keep the tulip. Uh, let's go and see if Erasmodius is about. There we go. I don't want my little path getting overrun here. Go we'll see if we can find Erasmodius and then we'll head over to the... Um... To the library to drop some stuff off and then we can go back into the back into the mine. Oh, well toss radish. Fifty bucks. Uh oh hey gypsy. I like your pig. Your pig is awesome. And I'll fence a tulip and iridium sprinkler. What is the twenty four adjacent tiles every morning? Are you fucking kidding me? 24 type. I want 4 grand. Increase the chance of finding treasures when fishing. However, fish aren't crazy about the taste. Oh. A mega bomb. Generates a powerful explosion. Used with extreme caution. Here's a color light. And the rare seeds. I want this sprinkler. That's insane. 24. It's crazy, man. I didn't bring my axe, which is silly. Because we could have had some issues with that. Hey, Raz. Hey, 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 Raz Bowski here. <laughs> ah, come on in. What do you want, Raz? I'm Razmodius, seeker of the Archangel Truths, mediator between physical and eth ethereal. Master of the Seven Elements. Keeper of the Secret Ch Yeah, you get the point. And you, Steho, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. A Stejo mate's a hard J. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! The apple! The apple is pissed, man. Apple's gonna slay a fool. You've seen one before, haven't you? Yeah, it's, it's an apple, mate. They grow on trees. Arms and eyes and everything. They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. May have something to do with the fact that you just fucking summoned them and then captured them. What the fuck? Like a Pokemon. Is that a Pokemon, Raz? I'm not sure why they've moved into the community centre. We've got no reason to fear them. I'm afraid of them, mate. Little apples. 
Hmm. You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. <laughs> Actually, I can do that. Go teach me that, Raz. Why the fuck did you come in the door? Uh, I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We are the Junimo. We're happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you're one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Huh. One with the forest? What do they mean? Sniff sniff. <laughs> Aha! Come here. What do you want, Raz? Cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. God. I wouldn't drink that, man. Fucking green and smoking. Okay, you're an idiot. Officially. You're officially a fucking idiot. Yeah, that's what I expected. <laughs> yep. Mm, yep, now I'm dropping balls. Nice. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm tripping mega balls. Fucking master balls. I I I understand. I get I get the point. I'm tripping trees. Thanks. You gained the power of the forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. So you mean I got all fucked up and now I can pretend that I can read random scribblings by fucking apples with arms? Is that what you're trying try to say to me, game? Jesus. Ooh. Under the daffodil. That's a dandelion. My bad, not a daffodil. Shit. Shh. Hmm. Sort of house. Apparently this opens up when you get an achievement. The day after you get an achievement, something like that. I don't know. I don't pay much attention. Ah, right. Let's get going. Do we want to go into the. I might just fish today. It's like, do, do we want to go into the um, the thingy? The mines, or do we want to fish? So, I might just fish. I'm so looking forward to our first, um, our first big crop of potatoes. Gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Right, let's get going. Um, yes, I need to go over to the library and get myself some junk. Oh, that's a daffodil. Oh, I'm only a, a leak away from making some. Uh... Hey, hey, how's it going, Gunther? Some shit to donate, mate. There you go, and there you go. Hey, no reward, sweet. What have you got for me, G? Nine cauliflower seeds. Don't mind if I do. Pure profit, right there. Ah, fisherman, act one. Gordy, how do you catch so many fish? For me, it takes forever. Well, you must make the choice to become the true fisherman, and over time, your fishing speed will increase. So, you're saying that improving my fishing skill will make me fish faster? One day you may even learn to create the secret of creating your very own bubbles and improving your mastery even more. Now be gone! How deep do the mines go? This question has been pondered by many Stardew Valley explorers over the years. The truth is, no one really knows, or at least they aren't telling anyone. Unfortunately, many of those who venture deep into the mines never return. However, there have been a few bold adventurers who have travelled deep into the mines and have resurfaced with interesting reports. Apparently, there are three distinct, distinct areas in the mine, each with unique monsters and treasures. Some adventurers speak of gigantic underground lakes and strange creatures. None of these claims have been proven. Uh, right, let's go down to the beach and fish. Let's not, because I don't have any... Uh, I don't have my fishing rod. Let's instead go up to the farm, plant the... Uh, plant these cauliflower seeds that I got. 
and then grab the fishing rod and go fish. Because that seems to make the most sense. Fucking stones in the ground I can't even chop up. Arr. I'm going to try and... I'll probably see if I can clear out any of these trees a bit later on, but... Not right now, because I don't even have my axe. Right, let's come here and grab our sap. Let's make... Oops, that's not what I want. There we go, nine fertilizer. That's one, two, three, four, five. Five, let's hold that. Fertilize. And fertilize this as well. Awesome. Okay, let's pop that back in. Let's talk, pop all of these back in. Oh, I need to drop my chilip off at the um, the thingy. And oh, how are the fortune teller? Ah, they're all right. So we can take our geode to get processed. Or three geodes. Jeez, I didn't realize I got three of them. So we'll take them to the blacksmith to get processed. We will. Take the chulip to sell at Pierre's. Jobs are good. And then we'll go fish. Right. It's already 1.40pm. Christ. You use so much time, man. So much time just running around. How's it going, Pierre? Can I sell you my chulip, mate? It's only worth 30 bucks. Thanks. Oh, all those tree saplings are bloody expensive, though. Right, uh, let's head over here and get these geos checked out before the place closes. Never know, we might even get something we can hand into Gunther for a different reward. That'd be pretty sweet. Fuel your life, Georgia Cola. Prehistoric rib. Oh well, we've already got something to give to Gun. Oh, it's south anyway. But I'm glad I run north because I got to to find a prehistoric rib. Who does thrive? Ah, uh, Georgia Moore. Jo Georgia Moore. Georgia Moore. The uh, the most innovative company this year. Uh, process geodes. Oh, there's something for Gunther. So. Ne Necoite. There's some Celestine. And there's some fucking rocks. Nice. How much is it going to cost me to upgrade my shit? Uh, 205 copper bars. Or is it uh, not 200, 2005 copper bars? If it's 200, then I'll be able to upgrade it all. Hey, Gunther. Need to donate some shit to you, mate. Prehistoric rib. No gift, Gunther. Rude. Right, let's head to the... Ah, let's not. Let's just fish here. That wasn't Max, are you? Rah, rah, rah. There we go. What's that? A smallmouth bass. Fucking hell. Oh, it's too slow. I was scratching my nose. I didn't expect this to get a bite so quick. Oh, I should probably actually... This will be the last fish that I get, and then I should try and get myself a scarecrow. Last takes so long. Come on. Hey, a can of Georgia Cola. Don't mind if I do. The flagship product of the Georgia Corporation. 13 health and 5 energy. Just shit. Eh, 13 energy, 5 health. Still shit. That is just absolutely worthless. I'll just sell it. I get a couple of quid for it. 
fucking trash. Is there anything up here? No. I really need some spring onions. I really need them. Shove that in there, shove my fish in there. Let's grab that, let's grab the wood, grab the axe. And what I need to try and do is craft a scarecrow, which is 50 wood, 1 coal, and 20 fiber. I don't have any coal. So that's what I need to do. I need to go out and try and get some coal. But it's way too late in the day now to for me to think about doing that. Chop down this tree. I might, uh, I might have a a wee look for some spring onions again. That's the annoying thing, man. The game says that there's, uh, told me that there's some spring onions, but I can't, I couldn't find the place it was talking about, the southwest of the village. Check up and around here, there's generally some spring onions around these areas. Sadly I can't, like, I don't think you can get rid of these bushes. I think they grow stuff though, so you probably don't want to get rid of them. Oh, I didn't go down to the beach and check for any forage. Ah, uh, that's alright. Let's pick up all of this shit. There we go, there's another tree to chop down. If we keep this place clear, we might get some. Oh! Go butterflies. Uh, if we keep this place clear, we might get some. Um, forage and things growing around there. Alright, come on. Was it spring. Do I need spring onions and a leek? Is that the other thing that I need? Make a furnace. Uh, where is it? That's oh, not spring onions, it's leeks that I need. Damn. Well, let's check around here. Maybe there's going to be some, some little worms or something. It's only 8 o'clock. Well, I'll make way I think about getting home. Ah. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just head back. The only other place I would go is southwest of my farm. Like, the place that I told me there was going to be spring onions that I, I haven't found any, or leeks, or whatever the fuck it was. But I didn't find any. But, uh, yeah. yeah. There's not much to... Not much to do about it. I'm go I'll go the front way. Alright. I'll just <laughs> dive around the back of everything. It's the old community centre. Strange, I don't think I've ever seen the kids actually playing on the at the play park. Which is odd. Okay, well, let's just clear out some of this stuff. Some of these weeds. Clearing out the weeds. Okay, let's get back. Well, I should have a look at this. Forging ahead, craft a furnace. Kill 10 slimes. What's the delivery? Oh, the red mushroom for Pam. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to get that. I don't know where the mushrooms are, or where they're supposed to be. Right. Let's head, uh, shove all of this junk in here. Shove that in, shove that in. Uh, shove the hoe in for now. I'll keep the scythe on me and keep the axe on me. And... I know, let's, uh... Let's try and clear this crap out. It's here. Oops, missed. 
I mean, I've got a bit of extra uh, energy right now, so I kind of want to... I kind of want to spend it on getting this stuff done. It's after 12, I think it is, when you... Like, if you go to sleep after 12, you start losing uh, energy the next day. Like, you don't sleep for long enough to get enough energy. Well, let's chop down some of these. Aha, fuck you, frog. Alright, let's just uh, get to bed now before the, the day ends. Get him away, dog. Jesus. And yes, sleep for the night. What did we earn? Oh, I thought that was 75 quid just for the judge of cola. 25 quid for the cola and 50 for the bass. 265. What do we get from farming? Oh, just a kale and a potato. So, oh, I should probably write down that. It's 110 and 80. Your progress has been saved. Didn't level up or anything, sadly. Alright, but unfortunately that's going to have to do us for this episode, so do remember that if you've enjoyed the episode to drop a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But I've been CJ, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.